Hello, hello everyone. So today I thought we'd take a look at a budget doll. Um, now this doll I think cost around $15. I'm not positive because I got it as a Christmas gift. Um, I've seen them in stores loads. It's one of the rainbow high budget dolls. And usually even if I am unboxing something I got for Christmas or a birthday or something, I put in the research to find out how much it costs. I'll look on Amazon, Walmart, Target, uh, Family Dollar, wherever to figure out the, the price point, the average price point. Because at different stores it may be slightly different. Um, now I remember when the Rainbow High Budget Dolls first came out, I, I was excited. Um, I personally really like budget dolls because if you can't afford a $30 or $25 doll, like, kids are going to love the budget doll regardless. Like, they, they're not going to notice. Um, mainly with MGA, what you see with their budget dolls is less articulation. Maybe their the clothing is slightly cheaper or it's, like, missing some accessories and some things. But they're, they're, they're still really nice. Like, I don't mind it. Um, I like... Dolls with more articulation and more areas where you can bend and pose them when I'm taking photos of my dolls. Uh, but there are some budget doll lines that I have absolutely loved. I know LOL did like a budget doll swim line and it was perfect. Loved it. Um, I didn't think the price was bad. Um, but the Rainbow High dolls, their budget line, I'm like, I get they have inset eyes. And I wonder if that's why they're more expensive for a budget doll. Because I don't know, like, what the inset eyes, how they compare to, like, the eyes on, like, a Barbie or a Monster High where they're screen printed or, or whatever. I don't know what difference they make in the, the cost of making the doll. Um, I just feel like the price is a little steep because, like, I think they were, like, around $15 when they came out. And, yeah, Rainbow High dolls go on sale a lot so you can often get them cheaper, which is great. Absolutely great. Love that about them, but the budget doll seemed super expensive to me. I mean, you can get a Rainbow High, Junior High doll, I think for like, let me go, let me go Amazon check. Because uh, the, the Junior High dolls were like a little cheaper. They're like the middle school version of the characters. They're, they're, you can find them on sale right now on Amazon for $16, about what you would pay for the budget doll with our, a little bit more articulation and the fashions are just as good, if not better. Um, and they have articulation. Uh, that is not their normal price though. They're selling right now on sale on Amazon for $16. They usually cost $25. Um, but I, I almost always find them on sale in the store. Like, I, I like hunting for dolls on sale and the characters I want on sale. Um, I know they actually just, re they're, they're just now got the, the new Rainbow High, like, soft reboot up on, um, on Amazon. Because Rainbow High is going to be starting to look different. It's not going to be as much... What we came to know from the brand, they're going back to their roots, which is originally like a poopsie doll or something. I don't know. It's some sort of slime doll. They were they were big. Uh, there were so many reviews on them. I don't have one, so. Um, but let me see if I can find one. Um, I know there's some like awesome YouTubers who reacted to these things, so I did I did find one. Let me let me window capture this, cause. Y'all need to, I, the fact that this is where Rainbow High got its start to me is, I wouldn't have guessed it. And I think that's something that's very, um, it, it surprised me because I just wouldn't have guessed it. I would have been like, nah, that can't be where Rainbow High, like these couture fashion, fashion replicas came from uh ignore the fact that this one doesn't have a shirt uh but they're like 48 dollars now this is what they look like they're like fairly tall you could put slime in their um in their clothing and things like that like they have one here too um they were like 14 inches um and they were called rainbow surprise um and i'm not a slime fan i'm a i'm gonna be real honest i am not a slime fan like like I am the the last person you you should um, 
it recommend something to slime with because I'm autistic. I hate the texture of anything slimy. I really, really do. Um, my sister-in-law actually got me some Monster High slime from Family Dollar. Uh, not Family Dollar. It was Five Below. From Five Below because I'm trying to get over my kind of texture issues with slime and expose myself to it more. Um, because a lot of like the littles that I know in my life that are babysit and things like that are into slime and I want to be able to do that fun stuff with them but for me it's a huge texture thing like I don't <laughs> this may seem unrelated but deli meat to me has always felt slimy like the only deli meat I really liked growing up a lot was like Shaw's rotisserie chicken deli meat it's because it was super dry <laughs> It didn't feel slimy to me when I put it in my mouth, so I could eat that and literally not even put it on a sandwich, just eat it out of the bag, which sounds gross, um, but it's it was good. It was good, I assure you, it was good. Um, so she got me Monster High Slime and another, my mom got me another fidget toy, and we'll do like a sensory play fidget toy video with those, but um, uh, they're going, M MJ is going back to their roots, which is very much slime dolls this right here is one of the junior high dolls they come with more accessories the boxes are more uh colorful um and i actually really like skylar better in in the reboot um i think i always like skylar but i like her better in the reboot something about the blue on blue on blue the fact that the pjs match her eyes the fact that she has all these accessories like she's doing nail nail polish um now when rainbow high first came out as like a 12 inch fashion doll um they had they um they they didn't have necessarily accessories to begin with they like you gotta add a second outfit and then they had like the rainbow high divas which had accessories and so on um now they have uh slime i haven't seen the slime ones i don't think up or have i Oh, I, I forgot about this one. This one is Rainbow High Blue. <laughs> the blue. The fact that her name is Blue kind of makes me want to laugh because she's very blue. Uh, <laughs> um, they they, ha they introduce like the color and create dolls. And I kind of get why MGA is going in the direction of like less sophisticated pack packaging. Not less sophisticated like fashions. Um, and more like an activity with the doll, like the color and create dolls where you could color their hair because that probably did really well. I know so many people in the different doll groups on Facebook I am were like buying them up. Um, and then now they're doing slime, kind of going back to their roots. And, and they're doing more accessories because that's what kids apparently want. And that is adult doll collectors do make up like a part of the... Um, like, just a, a sliver of the pie. Like, we buy multiple dolls sometimes just so we can restyle them. But we are not this necessarily the target audience. Like, yeah, they love selling us them to us, too, adult collectors. Um, like, because they, they'll take your money gladly. Like, your money is good with them. Um, but their their target audience is, is largely kids and parents that buy toys for kids. Um, and I get that. So they're moving in a new direction that hopefully is going to get more kids to want to buy the dolls. Um, the, the dolls stand out, out on the shelf as is because they're colorful. Um, uh, and because they, uh, they have, they stood out to me because they had great fashions, but probably not for kids for that reason. Uh, but the dolls, like, they're going to be at, like, a lower price point. Like, the junior high ones are, like, $19 instead of 25 the 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 new uh like rainbow high slime dolls are that actually have slime that you can make with the doll um that I would probably make separate and I definitely would not put it in the doll shoes I I wouldn't I couldn't like nah I'll make it and I'll put it aside in like a baggie or something I don't know um but they're like $25 which they lost wrist articulation they don't have a second outfit um and I think they lost some, like, articulation at, like, the, the thigh um, of the doll. But overall, for $25, you're still getting a lot. You're getting an activity. With some of the dolls, you're getting in accessories. You're still getting decent fashions. Um, the box looks different, too. Like, I have one of the older 
boxes. This one is technically a Shadow High one, but Shadow High is uh, in, like, the webisodes of the doll. They have, like, a little Rainbow High webisode, which is, like, watching a TV show. Um, Shadow High was, like, a, a rival school. And why did my mom wrap this in Barbie paper? I feel like she was thinking I would think it was Barbie. <laughs> no, I think she did it because she knows I love Barbie wrapping paper or Rugrats or anything like that. Like, don't give me Santa wrapping paper, please. Give me the good stuff. Um, but, uh, no, Shadow High was, like, a rival school to Rainbow High. And I did get a Shadow High doll that will be opening soon as well. She's not a budget doll. She's more expensive don't know what to tell you. She's probably like 30 bucks, 25. Um, that's probably not what we paid for her. I'm not sure um, because we like to get dolls on sale. Me and my mom will like, will like scope out the doll aisle and see what's on sale. Um, love this doll. I cannot wait to unbox her and review her. But as you can see with like the last Shadow High series and some of the last Rainbow High like wave of dolls, they had like uh, accessories instead of a second outfit and things. Um, but the outfits were, like, very high fashion, gorgeous, loved them. Like, I would play as if my dolls were, like, on Project Runway, which is, like, a show that was on Lifetime and that was was on Bravo, then was on Lifetime, then was on Bravo. Um, but it's, like, a fashion design competition, and I love it. I'll watch it with my mom. My mom loves it, too. Um, so, anyways, this is our budget doll today. It's Cheryl Myers. Now, just before we open this, I do want to show you, uh, once again, go into my, my, my webcam, um, I would like to show you what, like, Cheryl Myers originally looked like and, and cost, um, and I know I saw it on Amazon, so, like, why can't I find it now? Oh, because I typed in junior high, that makes sense, it's not a junior high doll, it's, it, it, it's like a, and apparently I twice tied twice, so that's, that, that's a good start, okay, so, um, let me, let me get off video capture, um, so this over here is one of the slime dolls, it comes with the slime, you can put the slime in, the, in like their purses, uh, and things like that, this is slime, they even come with little pets, which kids wanted, um, and the, the, the fashion's a little different, but it's st I still think you could, like, restyle them to make them really cute. I'm still gonna collect them, I'll be honest. I don't care. Like, um, like, I, I literally don't. Like, I'm, I'm gonna buy them anyways. <laughs> like, uh, I'm gonna be honest, because I like the fashions. They're colorful. It's something I would wear. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to be the target audience, even though I'm an adult collector because I like anything colorful. The boxes are now, like, more rainbowy and glittery and more sequins and all kinds of things kids are gonna love. Um, and then Cheryl Myers, where was she? Um, I'm passing the gold girls, I'm passing the Bly dolls, to hopefully looking for Cheryl. Cheryl, where are you? That, that is, yeah, no, let now I'm going to go all the way to the top, because now I'm going to be like Rainbow High, Cheryl Meyer. So the original Cheryl, it's going to take it a minute to load, as, as, as does it usually, <laughs> as, as does it usually. Um, why, why are we not loading, fam? I am way too impatient. I literally just wanted to show you what Cheryl Meyer Miles cost. Cheryl Meyer Rainbow. I can't spell today. I don't know what it is with me. Okay, here we go. So she costs like $37 at Walmart. Y'all think I'm paying that. The budget doll, it says Rainbow High Series 3. And that is literally the, the budget doll I have right here. So like... No. Okay, $29. And this is, this is like the non-budget version of Cheryl Myers that had like the second outfit and the shoes and things like that. I think she looks really pretty. But I don't think, I, I think the budget dolls still give like the same, um, the same kind of, of vibe if you look at them. Like they got the yellow, they got the plaid. Like no, it's not like a skirt and a jacket and little tights and a second outfit and all of that good stuff that we love as doll collectors. 
yeah, I'm very excited to open her. Um, I want to get more of the budget dolls because I like them. Like, if I can get a doll at a better price, I mean, that's always good. Um, but no, I, um, I'm not worried about the box. The box, look, I'm going to destroy the box. We all know this. Like, I always say I'm going to keep dolls in the box, and then I get this urge to just unbox them, and it just hits me. Um, I have, like, very few dolls in a box. Like, I have an I Love Lucy Barbie that my mom had gotten me as, like, a tribute to my Nana because we used to watch that together, and it's on, like, the top of my bookshelf because I won't open it. Um, there are a few dolls that I won't open, um, but for the most part, I'm an out-of-the-box collector because, let's face it, I want to do their hair nice. I want to change them, and I feel sad if they're sitting on the shelf by themselves. Like, they must be lonely, you know? I would never want my dolls to be lonely. They're like, they're like my children. I just love these dolls. Um, okay, let's, Cheryl Meyer, come on out. Come on out, girly, don't fight me. I always like to say that as I'm unboxing the dolls, like the dolls are actually trying to like. Okay, that didn't go how I planned. There we go. So already this doll has, only like I'm only noticing like crunchy gelled bits at the end and usually if they watch their hair the gel isn't as bad now they place the gel in the doll to kind of keep their hairstyle um nice sorry I got a tag here and it's annoying me so y'all gotta wait for me to cut this tag off but um it's it's usually to kind of keep their hair in the way that they styled it she has bad box hair um, we're not even going to get into that. I already know I'm going to be, like, washing her hair and making it pretty and all nice. She has really pretty, like, yellow and white shoes. And I like the budget dolls, too, because they give you another outfit that if you had, like, both the budget doll and, like, the um, non-budget doll, you could definitely put this outfit on the non-budget doll as well for, like, a little bit of a different look. So instead of a skirt, they went with this, like, little sundress thing. It does have, like, little black accents. Same vibe. She doesn't have articulation at the elbows, um, the thigh. She has, she has them, like, at her pelvis, but not, like, the, the lower, the lower slot thigh right about here. Um, she has the inset eye. She has the rooted la lashes, which I'm guessing that adds to the cost, which is why they were expensive budget dolls, like, Look, a budget tells me is like eight eight bucks. Like I can find Barbie fashionistas sometimes on sale for three dollars, and I just start shooting them in the cart. Like you're all coming home with me. Um, but yeah, I like this. I like. I, I think she looks good. I think she still has the same vibe as her original character, and I didn't have her non-budget version yet. Um, so uh, I may have to order that at some point too. But for now, I got the. The, the budget version and I think it's great because kids I don't think kids are going to notice the lack of articulation as much and I don't think every parent has the money to spend $30 on a doll like to get a $15 doll roughly um is not bad um she has this dark like purpley kind of lipstick which I am in love with uh she kind of reminds me of um what movie was it? There's a movie she reminds me of. Her outfit. Um, and I can't think of it off, off the top of my head. But I really like her. Even I, And I, I think she's actually still a really good doll, even without the articulation. I'm going to make her, like, walk across a tightrope like she's balancing. Like, you know those things we had in school where you they were, like, metal and, like, they were long? And they were, like, a little balancing thing and you could, like, climb up on them and try to balance and walk all the way to the end? Yeah, I'm going to pose Cheryl on one of those to get her picture at some point. Uh, you just wait and see. Um, I like her shoes, though, a lot. Like, they have... They have, like, a faux bow at the heel. I don't know if y'all can see it that well, but I like that. <laughs> like, I'm digging that. I like her shoes. They're, like, a very white, light yellow compared to her dress. Adds a bit of, like, contrast. Kind of makes me notice her more. I like the belt. It's it's a nice little black belt. Uh, it does go all the way around to the back where it velcros. Like... For a budget doll, it's not bad. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the price because I think, I'm not sure how much the like LOL budget dolls were. 
So now let me go research that because I did not do all my research clearly before. And so, um, Walmart is selling a budget doll for like $29. No, Walmart, not happening. Not, not happening in my entire, my entire lifetime. Um, Sorry that went black for a moment. I was trying to put it back on window capture um, because this is, that, that's ridiculous. You cannot, no. No, Walmart, don't do me like this. Um, so now let me turn off my video capture because I'm making mistakes all around today. That is okay. Uh, no, this was a budget doll. I have her. I bought her for like, maybe 10 to 15 dollars i think it was closer to 10 maybe but she's like 29 dollars at walmart no way no way there's no articulation that's like more than the doll over here that has articulation nah that, walmart's scamming y'all for that price like i i also have i have this budget doll here like i like the lol budget dolls i was kind of hoping i would see like their original price um, I'm, I'm very curious as to what, like, the original price was for LOL, because they're another line made by, um, by MGA. They make the LOL OMG dolls. I have her, Coral Waves. I think I have Ver Paradise VIP, too. Uh, I probably have most of these, if we're being honest, so. But I just want to know, like, the original price uh it says $16.99 I don't think I paid that much I bought mine at family dollar so like I could be wrong but I feel like the lol dolls at the time were were cheaper than than the rainbow high budget dolls like this feels a lot for a budget doll like to get one of the junior high dolls with a little bit of articulation at the elbows for 19 is great like I feel like if that's 19 this should be less expensive maybe maybe y'all feel me um, but I think she's so pretty. I'm gonna have so much fun with her. Um, I'm gonna, definitely gonna have to, like, wash her hair and, like, brush it. She got very loose curls at the back. Like, it's like they stopped curling her hair at the front with her bangs. And they were like, yeah, we just don't care about the back. Like, let it be a mess. No, you, you'll just put her on a shelf and no one will see the back. You'll just put her like this. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually really like her. Like, the, the box hair, I'm not a fan of. I'm not really a, a crunchy gel type person. I like my doll's hair to be soft. So, if I want it to be soft, I have to wash her, but then she's not going to have as great of curls. And then I'm going to have to, like, find some plastic straws to, like, wrap her wet hair around so she has curls. Um, because <laughs> that's what we do. We, we need the curls. Um, but she's really cute. I'm really glad I got her for Christmas. Like, it makes my day. Um, and I think my mom's probably glad, too, that she didn't spend $29 on this character. Um, but I'll probably order her, like, non-budget doll character anyways. So, like, it's not that big a deal. But I hope you enjoyed kind of learning a little bit about Rainbow High, what the reboot is going to look like. Because they're just now landing on the shelves. Like, I saw one, somebody in a doll group post that they're on the shelves in Switzerland, the, the reboot dolls. Um, but yeah, this, the, the price point of this bothers me. I feel like maybe $10, I'd be happy. Like, give me $5 less, right? Um, but I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, everyone.